Kristen, and I am here with Daria today. Hello. You've heard a lot about her from my channel, from my previous videos. Basically, as you can tell from our outfits, we're twins. Okay, I found my twin. She's here. So, do you wanna let everyone know where they can find you? I do have a YouTube channel and an Instagram account. Mm -hmm. uh, Ethical and Easy, where I talk mostly about ethical fashion, veganism. So I saw this video on YouTube by Neva, and they did this 20, uh, 48 hour fashion film challenge. And I was like, damn, I wanna do that. I wanna make that video too. So I asked Daria if she wanted to help me out with that so we can do it together. And you said yes. Yeah, it was uh, a bit scary, but after watching uh, several videos, I understood the concept and Krista helped me. Yeah. We started off on Wednesday. We are here with Daria. Hi. And we are about to start brainstorming our ideas for our fashion films. The clock is 10 past 12 and we are about to start now. So we have 42 hours to finish this damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's when we started first off coming up with the ideas that we had for individual fashion films and we started writing them down We started kind of pitching our ideas to each other so that we can kind of tweak them make them a little bit better So at 3 30 around 4 we yeah. left to mm. uh, Stavros Nyarkos Foundation This is so f heavy and Daria is loaded up it's gonna be a long day. The first location that we chose was this like they have this huge, very kind of industrial. Industrial looking, exactly. Um, kind of parking lot. I think we found our first location. And then we're going up there to the rooftop that's green. To the woods. To the woods, yes. Daria's outfits were so cute, by the way. I was like so jealous. <laughs> they are all thrifted. <laughs> yes, yes. Daria's outfits are thrifted. Mine are thrifted. Many of the items that I'm wearing in my outfits are going to be available on my new Etsy store. So yeah, you can find them there if you want to. I have the links in the description box for those as well. And then after that, where did we go? We went upstairs. Uh, yeah, in the... Um green area of the stars there house it was in the woods that place is really pretty up there it's like at the roof of the of the foundation yeah. and they have olives and herbs and lavender and there's mm -hmm. bees and butterflies everywhere it's so pretty we are at probably my favorite location at this point oh a doggo a doggo pooping and uh yeah a bug a bug a freaking bug pooped on me <laughs> But thankfully we already shot this, but like a bug pooped on me. What the hell? And this is Daria's camera. So I am working some serious muscles right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be ripped by the end of this. And I think we got some of the best shots there, to be honest. It was yes, really nice. The best shots. We have finished filming the majority of the outfits and we're now heading to the beach. What time is it? Seven, six? It's uh, seven plus ten. So we don't have much time before the sun sets because the sun is like right there. We are so dead right now. We can do it. We can do it. It's going to be <laughs> the last few hours are going to be the hardest, but it's going to be worth it. We were out for three and a half, three and a half hours filming and we were getting hungry. And photo shooting. And photo <laughs> shooting. We're getting hungry and hangry and tired and just... It was a lot, and we yeah. still had more outfits to go. We went to Marina's Place afterwards, and I tried on <laughs> my mom's vintage roller skates. It was so much fun. I had, I really enjoyed that. I think that kind of brought me back to life. So we are now at the Marina Fleet. Fleet Vu Marina. Daria cannot take it anymore. She's dead. We are exhausted. I'm pretty dead, but my spirits have been regenerated because check this out. I'm wearing rollerblades. These are my mom's vintage. Whoa! <laughs> These are my mom's vintage rollerblades and they are so much fun to ride around in. And I fell down once, right? Only once. Yep. <laughs> but honestly, I want to rollerblade more often. This is freaking awesome. So yeah, these are really cool. These are from the 80s. They're vintage. Not vegan, but I mean, they're my mom's old rollerblades. And it's so beautiful right now. Look at this light. Oh my god. I know it's so romantic, right? I could have been talking about the plan, no? Kina with the rollers. We must have all the level, like, in part. 
<laughs> yeah, it was like a, a professional fashion film because Kristen was going with the, the rollers <gasps> all around the place and she was filming me. I basically turned into your human moving tripod. <laughs> yeah, you also won the challenge of the most uncomfortable shoes. All my shoes were uncomfortable, can I say that? The shoes are not available on my Etsy store, so you don't have to worry about that. But like, yeah, I didn't wear the most comfortable shoes that day. The roller skates? Was the most comfortable. <laughs> the most comfortable shoes I had that day. How do you think we did? I think we made so much work in little time. Yeah. We got a lot of work done. Yeah, it was really fun. I uh, couldn't tell that the time was passing so fast. Afterwards, we came back home. And ate. Right at like <laughs> sunset. Yeah, we ate, but we didn't film that part. Because that was us literally like ravenous dogs digging our faces <laughs> into food. So this is the time. Mm hmm Gigi's sitting over there. Gigi, please do not ruin my equipment. Okay, thank you. We've been editing for many hours and it's gonna continue tomorrow as well this is the youtube life daria do you want to be on camera because i'm exposing myself right now i'm wearing a bikini indoors because it's so damn hot we've got a fan on us i have a spray to spray myself with water it's so damn yeah. hot we and have bobby's the <laughs> bobby's the aircon <laughs> Hey, Bobby. The fan. <laughs> Good Bobby's. We ended up editing until 3 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> we edited all day after that on Thursday, right? Mm. Our videos are now ready for you to enjoy. So if you want to watch Daria's fashion film, you can head to her channel. I have the link down below. If you don't, I'm going to punch you in the throat. So yeah, make sure to subscribe <laughs> to Daria's channel. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Sit back, grab your popcorn, and enjoy this little fashion film. Oh, look, a fashion film, très bien. Of course, to create a perfect fashion film, we need a charming female protagonist. Hopefully not this one. Oh, I guess it's this one. Merde. To be a real fashionable girl, you need a... How you say? Laissez-faire attitude. These girls, they go with the flow. They are too cool to care about politics or have controversial opinions. Shh, you don't speak, you just pose, okay? A fashionable girl is always on trend. If you aren't wearing the latest fashion, what are you even doing with your life? Okay, we heard enough. I'm taking over this narration. Excusez-moi? You're not even French. That accent is fake, scram. Let me tell you what's actually in and what's out. Opinions and education is in, apathy is out, sustainability is in, and greenwashing is out. Loving animals is definitely in, and exploiting them in the name of fashion is totally out. Oh mon dieu, please stop, this is preposterous. Are you saying leather is out? Oh, you're back. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Have you lost your mind? No, I haven't. Let me ask you this. Do you have a pet? Oui, Monsieur, my little chat. I love him so much. So what if someone turned Monsieur into a handbag? <gasps> no, have you lost your mind? Exactly. Real fashion isn't about following trends. It's about following movements that bring us into a better future. And the greatest movement right now is sustainability. Trends are the opposite of that. Fast fashion is responsible for the overproduction of billions of low quality items of clothing each year and at least 50% of those will never be worn. Here's what a real fashionable girl wears. She re-wears her clothes again and again and she repairs them rather than throwing them away. She goes for quality over quantity. She buys second hand. She cares about the people that make her clothes. Real fashion is not a tool for destruction. It's a response to the world around us. And we're back, so let me know what you thought about the fashion film. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know if you want me to make more videos like this. Also, definitely don't forget to check out Daria's channel. I have the links for that in the description box below. Also, you can check out my Etsy store that I've just opened up today. Also in the description box below. This outro is never gonna end, so yeah. <laughs> Huge thank you for watching. Thank, thank you so you much. Thank you for having me. So many thank yous. Okay, <laughs> goodbye.